Hey folks, welcome back to Florida Food Forest with Kyle Jacobs. I'm Kyle, I'm glad you made it. I try to go everything possible for this area, which is Webster, Florida. So if you're into growing your own food, click that like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so when new videos come out, you get notified. Today I'm looking at pepino melons. Pepino melon? Pepino melon? Pepino! It's a fun thing to say, kind of like macadamia or beluga, beluga. You can't say beluga and be upset at all. Try it. Beluga! See, it, it doesn't work. But anyways, what we're doing is we're looking at my pepino melons today. Come check them out. So nam cherries. Very yum yum for my tom tom. The thing with Suriname cherries, you gotta wait until they're absolutely ripe. Otherwise, your, your head will shrink. Remember in that scene in Beetlejuice where his head got really, really tiny? The same thing will happen with these. So you just touch them and they will fall off the bush and you can have some yum yums for your tum tum. Oh, those are good. Those are really good. All right, we're talking about the Pepino melon, not the Suriname cherries. As much as they deserve to get talked about, not this time. What I am talking about is the Pepino melon. Pepino melon! Pepino melon! See, I can't see that angry either. They're, they're fantastic. They fruit almost all year round. They flower. Someone told me they're cold hardy. I have not found that to be accurate at all. We got hit by 27 degrees, and these guys were almost destroyed. And they came from the ground, and now they're just they're skyrocketing back. I'm trying to use them as a ground cover. They're from South America, and if I was to describe the taste, it would be a mix of like watermelon, well, imitation watermelon and cucumber. They're really cool. You have to let them ripen on the bush itself, otherwise they don't ripen past that. If you pick them early and try to eat them, eh, I don't enjoy them. So I wait until they're a little smushy, cut them open, and just destroy them. They're absolutely fantastic. They're really, really easy to propagate. Uh, I've been giving cuttings away to a couple friends here and there, and they seem to be having good luck with them. Sorry about the dog barking there. You can't pick your neighbors, right? So here's some cuttings I just cloned and put in the ground. Uh, they seem to be doing really well so far. Like I said, I'm just going to use them as a ground cover to see how well they do. They're underneath a Christmas loquat. If you grow these, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, click that like, click the bell notification, and subscribe. I love you, Pepino Melon. Mm.